No, 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 you had to make some pig shots, didn't you? Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. So, you can't tell me that we don't love you guys. We're here in South Florida and it is the day of Hurricane Nicole. And it's already raining and it's already windy and we got weather coming in, but we're making pig shots today just for you. If you don't know what pig shots are, let me explain to you really quickly. It's a skinless sausage. It's a cream cheese mixture with cream cheese, cheese and seasonings and everything inside of it wrap a piece of bacon around to make a little cup and fill it with that cream cheese mixture. Then we're gonna smoke it on the big green egg or whatever smoker you're using. We're gonna do this today despite the hurricane. I mean, for half the Floridians, they don't even pay attention. They're out sitting by the palm trees drinking pina coladas, not us. We're cooking just for you. So, all right, the first thing I wanna talk about is our sausage here. I wanna talk about my sausage. The first thing I wanna do is use a smoked sausage here. I like to use skinless for this. I find it just comes out a lot better. Now the ones I'm using here are made of pork, turkey, and beef. So they're gonna have a ton of flavor in them and they're really, really tasty. So the first step we have to do is cut these into rounds. You don't wanna cut them too thick or too thin because we're gonna make a cup with the bacon. So you wanna have enough room to have the bacon make that cup. So we're cutting about a half inch thick because we wanna have a room, like I said, to put the bacon. And we also have to have enough meat in there so that we can skewer it and keep that baking cup closed. What I'm talking about here is that you want them about that thick right there. Why? Let me show you why. Now one thing I wanna stress here is that you wanna use thick cut bacon. All right, if you use thin cut bacon, you're not gonna be, it's not gonna have the strength to keep that cup in, in shape. And that's the important part, is you wanna keep that cream cheese right in there. Take a piece of bacon here, lay it out, and you wanna cut it right in half. So find the center and just cut it in half. And our next step is to take a piece of our sausage and take our piece of bacon and just wrap it around it, okay? And you want it to overlap a little because as it cooks, that bacon is gonna shrink up a little bit. So wrap it nice and tight, you have that. Now we have to find a way to hold the bacon closed, right? Yes. Now normally, most normal people, and you know that we're not normal here, will use a toothpick, use a toothpick. But no, we wanna do something a little different. So we're gonna use skewers. Make sure you're going through the sausage and through the bacon, and voila, instant cup. Now, you might notice they're not looking perfectly like cups, but when we fill them with that cream cheese mixture, that's what's gonna make these really stand up and act like the cup, okay? Our pink shot cups are all set. Now let's assemble the filling. One block of cream cheese, one and one half tablespoons notorious PIG barbecue rub. One tablespoon of diced jalapenos. One cup of shredded cheddar. And our next step is to combine our mixture and mix it up thoroughly. So I'm gonna put on one of these handy dandy orange gloves. Orange they cool. <laughs> Anybody can use black gloves. No, we use orange. Available on fogocharcoal.com. There's also a link in the description down below. You wanna combine this fully, get everything all integrated in there. Get, make sure also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, make sure your cream cheese is soft. Leave it out on the counter for an hour or so before you uh, st get started here. It makes mixing it so much easier. The big question now, how do we get our mixture into our baking cups? Don't worry, Captain Ron has the answer for you. And it's right here. All you do, take your mixture, put it into any old plastic bag that you have. Any kind of plastic bag is gonna work. Well, how does that work, Ron? How is that gonna help us? Because we're gonna cut the corner off and we're gonna make our own what's called piping bag. So you take your corner that's cut off, stick it down in there and just squeeze. All right, and that's that. Now, what I like to do, and I don't know if everybody else does this, but I like to take them and put them in the refrigerator for about a half hour, just kind of let them set up a little bit more. So, you know me, to the refrigerator. Now, while the pig shots are cooling off in the refrigerator, or should I say while they're chilling out, <laughs> let's light the grill, all right? We're gonna go indirect with these babies. So, we've got our setup here already. We've got our convector in here. We've got the uh, expander system. But what I wanna show you is how to use a kick-ash basket. Now, as you can see, I've got plenty of charcoal left from the last cook. But the problem is, there's all this ash and small stuff in the bottom here. Now, how do you get rid of it? Well, the answer is this. It's called a kick-ash basket. What it does, it increases airflow, 
but it allows you to clean out the egg really well. So all you have to do is take this basket, once you're ready, and shake it. You shake that ash. What that does, it gets all the little pieces, gets all the ash all out of there and leaves you nothing but charcoal. After we shook all that ash, this whole thing was filled with old ashes. All I did, I took my shop vac, gave it a quick sweep around, and boom, emptied it out completely. Now we're ready to put everything back in and get this baby lit. All right, and for today's session of smoking, we're gonna add a couple of bourbon barrel chunks. God, it is a party in a bag too. So if you haven't used these before, they're made of barrels that were used to store bourbon and age bourbon, and they smell just like you opened up a bottle of liquor. So I want light smoke, I don't wanna over smoke these, so I'm gonna put two chunks in here, right in the center. All right, all right, all right. So we've got them out of the refrigerator here. Our egg is up to 350 degrees, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the seasoning that we used, just sprinkle a little bit across the top, just for a little extra flavor, plus it looks really nice too when it's done. So, we're gonna put these on here. Again, it's indirect, we're cooking at 350 degrees, but if you notice, I put a piece of aluminum foil over the expander, I mean over the uh, convector, so that when these things drip, it's baking, so it's gonna drip a ton of fat down, it's gonna catch it all, not get all soaked into your, your uh, convector, and it'll last you a lot longer. So, let's put them on and let them cook. Now that they're on there cooking at 350 degrees, Let's recap what we did. We took that beautiful skinless smoked sausage, skinless, very important, okay? We wrapped it in thick cut bacon, thick cut, also very important. Filled it with that cream cheese mixture, mixed it all together. Now, that's what I like to use in mine. I've done some experimenting. Those are the flavors that I like. Put whatever you want in there. I know people that put whole jalapenos in there. I've seen people put fruit inside of them. Whatever you want to make in that cream cheese mixture, that's what you should do. The important part, you want to cook them at least 350 degrees because we want that bacon to cook, get a nice texture to it. Nothing worse than rubbery, chewy bacon. Ugh. No, we want that bacon to bite into it, have a nice bite through bite. So that's what we're gonna do. Probably gonna take somewhere around an mm, hour, maybe a touch longer, but once that bacon is done, we'll know that they're done and we are ready to chow down. The other thing you can do, I'm not gonna do this today, but you can put a little barbecue sauce on them for about the last 10, 15 minutes. Makes them nice and tacky, gives a little sweet flavor too. So. That's it. All right, the boss is calling the shots, the pig shots, that is. <laughs> anyway, they are ready. Check these out. Ooh-wee! Aren't they ready? Now, the big good part about using the skewers, take them off, set them right on the plate. Look how well that worked out. By the way, the skewers are really hot, okay? Use a heat glove, all right? Yeah, baby, those are looking good, aren't they? Tell the truth, you know they are. Listen, before we go any further, while you're here, if you like what you saw here, do me a favor, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and do me a favor, leave me a comment down in the, in the sections below. I'd love to hear from you. Anything you wanna say, let me know. You wanna see something we can film? Let me know. If you like something that you like, let me know. Let me know anything, okay? But, since we cooked these, I just wanna add something, okay? They look absolutely perfect. They're gorgeous, the skewers worked out beautifully. The other thing too is, like I mentioned before, if you want to put a little barbecue sauce on these, even when they come off, just top them with a little barbecue sauce, that little bit of extra sweetness really changes the flavor. But the sausage is cooked up beautifully, got a little char on the bottom, the bacon is nice and crispy, the beautiful finish on top of the cream cheese, it's absolutely outstanding. I think there's only one thing left to do. What could that be? Hmm. Try it? Okay, I'll try it. The saltiness of the bacon, the cheese, that little taco flavor, the spiciness and sweetness from that Notorious P.I.G. rub. Oh, it's outstanding. These are outstanding. If you have a barbecue and you need a side dish, you need an appetizer, anything, this is a phenomenal way to go. You saw it, it's not hard. They're really simple to put together and they are just jam packed with flavor. I mean, packed with flavor. How do you go wrong with a bacon cup? I mean, come on. The trick is make sure you cook them long enough let that bacon get nice and done. Let it get nice and crispy around the outside. And you can see, you know how flimsy the cups were in the beginning? When we filled it with that cream cheese, they really held up beautifully. I mean, that is just gorgeous. Full of cream cheese, full of flavor. My belly's gonna be full in just a couple minutes. So like I said, like I said before, subscribe and all that good stuff that you do on YouTube. I want you to remember this, to get out and grill, even if it's winter time. And I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.